Welcome back aliens, my name is Ivan Twenty, and let's continue with this series on Python. Now till this point we have talked about different types of variables and we have talked about different types of methods, right? So we can write variable and methods inside a class, right? So a class will have variables and methods. The question is, can we have a class inside a class? That sounds weird, right? Why would anyone would have a class inside a class? So let's try to understand that. So let's say I have a class here and this class name is student as usual the way we have done earlier. And when we talk about student, we have different types of variables, right? Let me define that function first. And the variables which I want here is self. Uh, first, I want a name. Of course, in the last example, we have taken marks, but here let's take something different. I would take a name of a person and that will be coming from a user, of course, or from when you create an object, we'll say name. The second thing I want is roll number and I want these two details. And then I will assign name here and I will say self dot roll number. Now we have used to it, right? So I would say uh, roll number, right? Now once we got these two variables, uh, what I want is I want to print them. The way you print these values is by defining some functions, right? Of course, you can do that directly. Example, if I create an object here. So let's say the object is S1 and I will say student. And when you create this object, you have to pass values as well, right? The first one I want to have is Naveen and roll number is let's say 2. Uh, the second object we want here is S2 and we'll say student in which we'll be having two things. Of course, I would say this is also Jenny and the roll number is let's say 3. So I have Naveen and we have Jenny here we got two and three okay so let's say I want to print I want to print s1 so I want to print all the details about s1 okay I want to print the name and roll number so the way you do that is by saying s1 dot name and we can say s1 dot roll number so this is how you can print the values right let me run this code and you can see it works we got the details about s1 now what I want to do is I don't want to see this doesn't look good right what you should be saying is you should say s1 dot show so when I say s1 dot show it, it should print all the details about s1 maybe it has roll number name or different variables right so of course we need to define that function or method here so we'll say def show so this will print self dot name and we'll print self dot roll number so we are printing this two data right it should work let's run this code and you can see we got the same data now let's say student also has a laptop of course right when you say you are doing it in fact we have done that right so you are a student of Telisco. you will be using a laptop to run your code or desktop doesn't matter and let's say we want laptop here so of course I want to know which laptop we are using so I want to know your config now in that case I will also ask a user hey tell me which laptop you are using the problem is when you talk about laptop there are different things important right it's not just about brand you will not simply say hey I have HP laptop I have a Lenovo laptop you will also mention the configuration maybe CPU and RAM that's very important maybe any i5 CPU with let's say 8 GB RAM is enough so I want to know your config so what you will do will you pass three variables like the, you will pass a brand HP and then you will also pass the CPU which you are using let's say i5 or you will also pass let's say RAM of 8 GB yes you can do that okay so I have to accept this variables here I have to accept that here right and we can do that the other option which we have is with different okay so the other option which we can do here is we can create a class okay we can create a separate class as laptop or instead of creating a class outside the student we can also create laptop inside student so a laptop will be only used by student and in this case so I will say a class and I will say laptop so we are creating a laptop class inside our student so that we can get that group okay so we have to also say def here and we have to say in it right and then let's create variable so the first variable we need here is brand and let's say the brand is HP that's the first thing we need second thing we need is the CPU which you are working with I would say CPU is i5 and the third one is RAM let's say GB RAM so we got these three things right now we got these three variables and where to create the object of it so we can create the object here itself so we can create the object inside the init and normally that's what we do so if you want to create object of laptop we should be creating that object inside the outer class okay so the object of laptop will be the inside the student class the way you do that is very simple here you will say self dot lap you can create any variable you want and you will say laptop or we are getting error so we have to say self dot laptop okay this works so you can see in the constructor itself you can define a variable so in the outer class you can define a variable lap and you can define the object so if whenever you want to use a laptop you have to say the student object dot lap example outside if I want to use it I will say s1 dot lap dot whatever 
brand you want to fetch. So you cannot simply say lab.brand, you have to say s1.lab.brand because uh, the lab object is inside the student class. This is one way. What if you want to create another object of it? Let's say I don't want lab, I want. So you can simply say lab1 is equal to s1.lab. Uh, you can get another object for s2. You can say lab2 is equal to s2.lab because for every object you will get different laptop object. Okay, trust me, this is how it works. In fact, you can also check that. We got two different laptop objects here. We will print lab1 and let's print lab2. So let's print the IDs of lab1, lab2. We got two different objects here. So this works, okay? This is where you create inner class, okay? So we have a laptop as an inner class of a student, right? Uh, you could have done the outer class as well. I mean, you could have two different classes that you want that works. But sometime when you know that this class will be used only for student, nothing else, then you don't have to create a separate file for that. You can do that in student class itself. Now, can I directly create the object outside? Let's say I don't want to get object of laptop inside the student class. Can we do it outside directly? Let's try. So I will say lab1 is equal to, I will say student dot laptop. Now why student here? Because you cannot simply access laptop directly, right? Because laptop class belongs to a student class. So we have to always say student dot laptop constructor. You cannot simply create laptop directly, okay? So this is one thing you have to remember. You can create the object of inner class inside outer class, or you can do that outside the outer class provided you are using the outer class name. So you have to say student dot laptop. Okay, this works. In fact, just to enhance the example, what I will also do is we can create a show method for a laptop as well. So we can say show for laptop and you can see we have two show methods. One is student and one is laptop. Okay. So inside student, we have show method inside laptop. Also, we have show, but these are two different show methods. The show method of student will print the data about a student and the show method of laptop will print the show method of student. I know that makes, but that's weird. So let's do that. So I will say print self dot brand self dot CPU and self dot ram. Okay, so we are printing this data. So this show is different from this show. Let me now print laptop here. Let me run this code and you can see it prints only the name and the roll number. I also want to print the laptop. Oh, you need the object, right? We have removed that statement because if you want to access laptop, you have to say self dot lab is equal to laptop, but you have to say self. So this is important and after printing this we'll call lab.show because we also want to do that. So we will say self.laptop.show. Okay, so we are printing data about a student and laptop as well. So this should work. Let's run this code and it worked. You can see we got the data about a student and a laptop as well. So this is how you create the class inside a class. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this session where we have talked about how you can create a class inside a class which is also called as an inner class, right? Uh, so that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for for the videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.